Forget therapy, ditch self-help gurus. The secrets to navigating life's toughest challenges might be older than you think. Buckle up, because we're not just dusting off some dusty old philosophy book. We're about to crack open a vault of 10 life-changing stoic lessons that people often stumble upon way too late. These aren't just abstract concepts to admire from afar. They're battle-tested tools for mastering your emotions, embracing change, understanding true success, and finding inner peace, no matter what life throws your way. Each lesson is a hidden gem, ready to unlock surprising transformations as you unlock their secrets. Why stick around? Because each lesson is a power-up, and by the end, you might just have a whole new toolkit for living. Who knows, maybe we'll even unearth a hidden gem that completely flips your perspective on everything. So, whether you're lost in the maze of life, craving personal growth, or simply curious about a different way of being, welcome aboard. This journey through the ancient wisdom of Stoicism might just be the most unexpected upgrade you ever get. Lesson 1. Mastering the Emotions you didn't know you could control. Forget emotional roller coasters. Buckle up for a mental road trip where you're the driver. No more letting anger take the wheel, anxiety slam the brakes, or jealousy navigate. This ain't your high school psychology class. This is stoicism, the ancient power tool for mastering your emotions. Yeah, yeah, control your emotions. Sounds like some bearded philosopher whispering in a dusty library. But trust me, Seneca and Marcus Aurelius weren't chumps. These dudes were emperors, warriors, and thinkers who cracked the code on handling even the gnarliest emotions. And guess what? They didn't say ignore them. They said control them, use them, wield them like freaking emotional Jedi. Why is this important? Well, picture this. You are stuck in traffic, boss on your back, phone dying, and boom, Anger explodes hotter than a Carolina Reaper. You yell, you swerve, you make choices you'll regret with a hangover worse than that tequila night. Sound familiar? Stoicism helps you hit pause before that happens. It teaches you to recognize your emotions like an emotional traffic cop, understand them like a detective, and guide them like a wise old mentor. So, how do we pull this off? Here's the secret sauce. First, Self-awareness. Ditch the emotional autopilot. Recognize what's going on inside. Are you the Hulk about to smash? The sulking Eeyore? Give your emotions a name, figure out what triggered them, and boom, you've got the first tool in your emotional toolbox. Second, pause and reflect. Before you react like a knee jerk, take a breath, hit the mental pause button. This is your chance to choose your path. Think about what you really want to achieve, and then, like a chess master, plan your next move. Third, tools for understanding. Stoicism ain't just theory, it's a freaking arsenal of emotional weapons. Deep breaths to calm the storm, journaling to vent and analyze, even talking to a trusted bro who can offer a different perspective. These are your emotional shields, deflecting negativity and helping you see things clearly. Remember, emotions are like fire. Use them wrong, you get burned. Use them right, you cook a damn fine meal. Stoicism teaches you to be the chef, not the burnt toast. It's not about suppressing your emotions. It's about understanding them, controlling them, and using them to live a better life. So yeah, ditch the emotional baggage, grab your stoic toolkit, and let's take control of the ride. This is the road to becoming the coolest, calmest, most collected version of yourself. You ready? Let's roll. Lesson 2. Accept the stuff you can't fix. Imagine life as a Roman chariot race. Wheels spinning, horses snorting, crowds roaring. But hey, guess what? You only control your own chariot. You can't control the weather. Rain makes the track slippery. You can't control the other racers and you can't control whether your toga gets stuck in the wheels. But you know what you can control. Your grip on the reins, your breathing, and your mental game. That's the whole point of stoicism. 
This ain't some dusty scroll full of boring lectures. It's a battle-tested playbook for dealing with life's curveballs, from traffic jams to job interviews gone south. The key, acceptance. Accept what you can't control, focus on what you can, and win the damn race on your own terms. So, how do we ditch the reins on the stuff we can't change? Imagine every worry you can't control as a helium balloon tied to your wrist. Every anxious thought, every what if, every useless frustration, tie it to a balloon and watch it float away. Let it drift off into the sky, lighter than air, because it ain't your burden to carry. Take that job interview example. You prepped like a champion, but your chariot decides to throw a tantrum. Stop sweating it like a gladiator in a sauna. This is where acceptance kicks in. Deep breaths, bro. Put on your favorite battle hymn. Focus on what you can control and leave the car drama to the gods. By accepting what you can't change, you transform a stressful mess into a moment of mental victory. You arrive calm, focused, and ready to crush it, proving that even when life throws you lemons, you make damn good chariot racing lemonade. Remember, stoicism isn't about ignoring problems or becoming emotionless robots. It's about being the master of your own chariot not letting worries and anxieties pull you in a million different directions. Focus on what matters, accept what you can't change, and watch your stress level drop faster than a toga in a gladiator fight. This is the way to a peaceful, prosperous life, even when the world feels like a chaotic Roman circus. So saddle up, grab the reins, and let's win this race together, one stoic lesson at a time. Lesson 3. Forging Your Armor of Self-Discipline Imagine you're staring down a mountain of work deadlines, each one taller than the Alps. Social media beckons with its siren song of endless scrolling and the fridge whispers promises of sugary comfort food. It's a familiar scene, one where our resolve crumbles and self-discipline melts like ice cream on a summer day. But this, my friend, is the battleground where stoicism trains you to be a warrior. Forget ironclad willpower and hair shirts. Stoicism isn't about punishing yourself, it's about crafting a suit of armor forged from self-discipline and integrity. Think of it like building your own medieval castle, not to shut out the world, but to stand strong within it. The architects of this philosophy, folks like Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius, knew life wasn't a picnic in the park. They understood that happiness wasn't found in fleeting pleasures, but in aligning your actions with your deepest values. It's not about denying yourself dessert, but choosing the nutritious option because you value your health. It's not about ignoring that deadline, but tackling it head on because you value being responsible. So, how do we build this inner castle brick by brick? Start small, just like any good builder. Instead of hitting snooze when the alarm screams, imagine yourself rising like a knight at dawn, ready to conquer the day. Choose the salad at lunch over the greasy burger, not because it's trendy, but because you value your well-being. Every tiny choice, every moment of resistance, is a stone laid in the foundation of your integrity. These choices, seemingly insignificant, build a fortress unlike any other. You become strong, independent, and true to yourself. A beacon of integrity in a world that often feels like a swirling sandstorm of temptation. No longer swayed by external pressures, you are driven by your own inner compass, your values like guiding stars on a dark night. Embracing self-discipline and integrity isn't a one-time quest. It's a daily ritual of fortification. It's about chipping away at your procrastination mountains, brick by mental brick. It's about choosing the stairs over the elevator because you value your health, even if your legs scream otherwise. Remember, you're not just building a castle, you're sculpting yourself into the best version of you. So pick up your metaphorical trowel, mix a mortar of commitment, and start building. The world may throw its cheesecake at you, but your stoic fortress will stand strong, a testament to your inner strength and unwavering integrity. Lesson 4. Grasping life like sunshine through your fingers. Ever feel like time slips through your fingers like water? You blink, and a month's gone by. You sigh, and childhood memories blur into distant echoes. 
Stoicism says, stop grabbing at water, soak in the sunshine instead. It's about living right now, savoring the moments you're in, because that's the only life you truly get. Think of Marcus Aurelius, Roman Emperor, battle-tested warrior, and king of the present moment. He knew life flies faster than a chariot in a thunderstorm. Dwelling on what was, or worrying about what will be, he warned, is like wasting your time in thoughts about other people. In today's whirlwind world, with phone notifications buzzing and to-do lists piling up, his words hit harder than a gladiator's sandal. So, how do we stop being distracted tourists in our own lives and become present moment masters? It's not about some yogic levitating act. It's about paying attention, really paying attention to what's happening right now. Savor that morning coffee like a gourmet chef crafted it. Immerse yourself in a conversation like you're diving into a crystal clear ocean. Feel the sun on your skin like it's a secret handshake from the universe. Imagine this, a family dinner on a special occasion. The table overflows with delicious food, laughter hangs in the air like mist, and your loved one's faces glow with warmth. Don't let your mind be a runaway chariot pulling you into tomorrow's work worries or yesterday's arguments. Breathe in the scent of roasted chicken. Listen to your sister's story with your whole heart. Feel the joy radiating from your dad's jokes. Be present in every bite, every laugh, every wrinkle on your grandma's smile. That's where the magic happens. By being present, you turn ordinary moments into extraordinary jewels. You connect with the soul of life, the symphony of the present, finding contentment, joy, and peace right where you are. I, it's not about ignoring the future or forgetting the past. It's about holding them gently in your mind while your heart beats fully in the rhythm of now. So, ditch the water grasping and open your palm to the sunshine, because life, my friend, is best lived one present moment at a time. Lesson 5. Unpacking the Jewel Box of Wisdom Forget hoarding dusty old scrolls. Stoicism says wisdom is a treasure hunt, and every day's the key to unlock a new gem. Guys like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca weren't bookworms just to impress their toga-wearing buddies. They knew knowledge was power, not the kind that zaps things, but the kind that lights your path through life's stormy sea. Sure, information's everywhere now, but true wisdom, that's a rare bird. Stoicism teaches us to sift through the info overload, dig deep for knowledge that matters, and turn it into something more than just trivia night fodder. It's about embracing a lifelong learning adventure, an endless quest for insights that make you a better you and a brighter light in the world. Picture this, you're a nature lover, chilling in the park, book in hand, basking in the sun. Suddenly, you stumble upon a wonky looking fruit you've never seen before. Curiosity explodes like a Roman firework. You whip out your phone, dive into research mode, and bam, a whole universe of knowledge unlocks. You learn its name, where it grows, even how to cook with it. This sparks your inner culinary wizard, and that weird fruit becomes the secret ingredient in your next family feast. You share your newfound wisdom with friends, turning a park stroll into a knowledge explosion fiesta. That's stoic wisdom in action, my friend. Every moment, from books to butterflies, holds the potential for a learning bonanza. Knowledge isn't just stuffing your brain with facts, it's about using what you learn to become a kinder, wiser, more awesome human being. It's your compass for navigating life's twists and turns with grace and patience. Remember, Stoics weren't about hoarding knowledge like dragons hoarding gold. They believed true wisdom shines brightest when it's shared, when it makes the world a little bit brighter, a little bit kinder. So, grab your curiosity shovel, dig deep for those knowledge gems, and let your wisdom light shine. It might just spice up your next dinner party, too. Lesson 6. Owning your stuff. Ever spill your coffee and blame the dog for tripping you? Don't worry, we've all been there. That's where stoicism comes in, shining a light on a truth harder to swallow than burnt toast. 
you're in charge of your own mess. Now, before you reach for the pitchforks, hear me out. This isn't about beating yourself up. It's about owning your choices, good or bad. Because that's the secret sauce to living a real, authentic life. Think of it like being the director of your own movie, not stuck in some cheesy B-film where everyone but you controls the plot. Epictetus, who knew a thing or two about overcoming tough circumstances, being born a slave wasn't exactly a picnic. Said it best. Your greatest superpower is choosing your attitude and actions, no matter what life throws at you. Stuck in a dead-end job? You might not control the economy, but you control your hustle to find a new one. Dealing with a toxic friend? You can't force them to change, but you can choose to walk away. Remember Marcus Aurelius, the Roman Emperor, who could probably juggle flaming swords while writing philosophy texts? He believed our character isn't defined by what happens to us, but by how we choose to respond. In a world obsessed with blaming everyone but ourselves, taking responsibility isn't just a stoic virtue, it's a superpower. Imagine this, you're swamped with a work project, deadlines looming like hungry wolves. Instead of pointing fingers at teammates or cursing the printer gods, you take a deep breath. You analyze your workflow, realize you procrastinated a bit too much, and own up to your choices. But here's the magic. Owning your mistakes isn't a dead end, it's a detour to improvement. You learn from your slip-ups, adjust your strategy, and finish the project like a rock star. Not only do you feel empowered, but you also score some serious career points. Taking responsibility isn't about carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. It's about understanding that your choices, big and small, shape your life like a sculptor molding clay. It's about accepting the good, the bad, and the burnt coffee, and using them as stepping stones to growth. It's realizing that the key to your future isn't in someone else's pocket, it's firmly in your hand. So stop blaming the dog, grab your metaphorical shovel, and start building the life you truly desire. Because when you own your stuff, you own your destiny. Lesson 7. Riding the Waves of Change Imagine life as a wild ocean, waves crashing, currents swirling, and you… Well, you're not some scaredy-cat driftwood log. You're a stoic surfer riding those waves like a boss. Change that big bad monster becomes your playground, your chance to catch some epic growth curls. Sure, change can be a bumpy ride, job loss, unexpected twists, plans going kaput, it's enough to make even the most chill surfer wobble on their board. But guys like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, they saw change not as a monstrous kraken, but as a dynamic dance, a universe constantly flexing its cosmic muscles. Remember Aurelius's words, Life is a series of experiences, a journey, a path. Guess what? Every turn on that path, every unexpected wave, is part of the ride. Stoicism teaches us not just to accept this, but to embrace it, welcome it like an old friend bearing gifts, growth gifts. Think of it like this, you're stuck in a dead-end job, a cubicle prison that's crushing your creative soul. Change, the big bad wave, crashes in, tossing you out of your comfort zone. Instead of clinging to the wreckage of your old routine, you grab your surfboard of adaptability and resourcefulness. You enroll in that art class you've always dreamed of, your passion igniting brighter than a bonfire on the beach. Suddenly, change isn't a monstrous wave. It's a launch pad to a career you actually love. Facing life with flexibility and strength, you turned a potential shipwreck into a personal growth tsunami. That's the stoic way, my friend. See change not as a foe, but as a catalyst for new beginnings, a chance to reinvent yourself like a chameleon after a paint fight. So next time the waves of change come crashing, don't panic, don't drown. Grab your surfboard, channel your inner stoic surfer, and ride those waves towards the shore of amazing self-discovery. Remember, you're the master of your own journey, and the ocean of life is yours to conquer, one wave at a time. Lesson 8. Ditching the gold chains and grabbing life's golden moments. 
Ever feel like that treadmill of more, more, more is spinning you right into a pit of emptiness? You're not alone, my friend. In a world where your worth is measured by your mansion and your happiness by your hashtag count, stoicism throws a big, fat wrench in the machine. It whispers a secret worth shouting from the rooftops. True gold isn't found in vaults, it's mined within. Guys like Seneca and Epictetus knew a thing or two about wealth. They saw empires rise and fall faster than your latest phone model. They understood that fancy cars and designer threads might impress your Insta followers, but they won't buy you inner peace. As Seneca said, the real treasure isn't having tons of stuff, it's craving less. Think about it. In this non-stop ad blitz, where every billboard screams buy me, it's easy to get caught in the hamster wheel of wanting. You chase that bigger house, that faster car, that perfect life, only to find it emptier than a champagne flute at the end of the night. So, how do we break free from this gilded cage and find real happiness? The Stoics show us the way. Shift your focus inward. Find joy in the sunrise, not the sunrise seen from your private yacht. Savor a laugh with a loved one, not the likes on your perfectly curated vacation pic. Measure your success by the strength of your character, not the size of your bank account. Imagine you're living the dream, designer clothes, penthouse views, and a social media following that would make an influencer sweat. But under the glitz, you feel hollow. The parties are loud, but the silence afterwards is deafening. It's time to hit the pause button on the more machine and embrace simple pleasures, meaningful connections, and personal growth. Spend evenings under the stars with your family, not under the disco ball with strangers. Volunteer your time to a cause you care about, not your credit card to the latest trend. Explore the depths of your soul, not the depths of your swimming pool. Unless it's filled with philosophy books, then go for it. Because, my friend, the secret stoicism reveals is this. Happiness isn't hoarded in vaults, it's cultivated in hearts. Ditch the gold chains, grab the golden moments, and watch your life sparkle with true, lasting joy. Remember, you're not defined by what you own, but by the richness you grow within. Now go forth, unhoard your happiness, and shine like the diamond you truly are. Lesson 9. Letting go of anger's chains. Holding onto anger is like carrying a moldy backpack. It stinks weighs you down and constantly threatens to leak toxins into your life. But stoicism offers a different path. Forgiveness isn't weakness, it's a superpower. It's not about letting others off the hook, it's about setting your own soul free. Instead of fixating on historical figures, let's consider this scenario. Imagine you've got a friend who promised to meet you for that epic concert, but they bailed last minute leaving you with a pit of disappointment and a lonely ticket. You could wallow in the sour smell of resentment, replaying the betrayal like a broken record, or you could do something radical. Forgive. Now, forgiveness isn't about forgetting. It's about understanding that everyone stumbles, even your friends, especially your friends. It's about saying, hey, you made a mistake, I get it, let's move on. This doesn't mean condoning their actions, it means not letting their misstep become your prison. By choosing forgiveness, you break free from the chains of anger. You ditch the moldy backpack of resentment and lighten your emotional load. You open up the possibility of repairing the friendship, or at least letting it fade gracefully into the past. Most importantly, you free your soul from the toxic grip of negativity. Mastering forgiveness in daily life isn't about being some saint on a pedestal. It's about recognizing that mistakes are inevitable, including our own. It's about understanding that forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself, not the other person. Whether it's a friend, a colleague, or even yourself you need to forgive. Each act of releasing anger strengthens your character and opens your heart to the sweet nectar of empathy and understanding. So next time someone throws a moldy backpack your way, don't strap it on. Let it fall to the ground, smile, and walk away. Because friend, forgiveness is your secret weapon, and it makes you unstoppable. Lesson 10. Reframe your focus. 
Imagine two hikers lost in the woods. One stumbles into prickly bushes, cursing the tangled wilderness. The other, though scratched, sees the path they missed, hidden within the foliage. Stoicism whispers a powerful truth. It's not the storm that sets us reeling, but how we adjust our sails. Think of yourself staring down a life curveball, maybe a job lost, a relationship gone awry, or a dream seemingly shattered. You have two choices, clutch the thorns of anger and despair, or shift your lens and see the hidden path. That's the essence of Stoicism's power of perspective. It's not what happens to you, but how you choose to see it. This isn't about blind positivity or pretending problems don't exist. It's about consciously reframing your focus to find new possibilities, hidden strengths, and unexpected opportunities. Say that pay cut at work has your stomach churning. Instead of seeing it as a dead end, consider it a nudge to explore your hidden talents, upskill in a new field, or finally launch that side hustle you've been dreaming about. Suddenly, the failure transforms into a launch pad for growth. This isn't magic, it's mindful effort. When challenges loom, hit pause. Ask yourself, is this the only way to see this? What if I squinted a bit, shifted my angle, and looked for the sunlight filtering through the cracks? Each choice of perspective is a conscious decision, and with practice, you'll become a master reframer, navigating life's labyrinth with grace and resilience. Remember, the world throws us curved balls, but we hold the camera. By cultivating a positive and proactive lens, we can transform even the bleakest landscapes into landscapes of possibility. The power of perspective isn't a passive gift, it's a muscle to be trained, and when honed, it becomes your secret weapon, turning every bump in the road into a stepping stone to a future brighter than you ever imagined. So, here we stand, ten lessons later, hearts a little lighter, minds a little sharper. We've wrestled with change, embraced simplicity, and learned to wield the mighty weapon of forgiveness. Stoicism isn't a dusty museum exhibit. It's a torch we carry forward, illuminating the path through life's storms. Remember, these lessons aren't mere pronouncements from dusty scrolls. They're invitations to experiment, to tweak your focus, to reframe your own reality. Apply them in your daily grind, watch your perspective shift, and feel the burden of negativity lighten. But stoicism isn't a solo journey. Share your struggles, your victories in the comments below. Let's build a community where we sharpen each other's swords of resilience, where shared experiences fan the flames of the stoic spirit. Together, we can prove that stoicism isn't just a philosophy, it's a revolution. A revolution not of armies and empires, but of hearts and minds. A revolution where adversity becomes fuel, where setbacks become springboards, and where every challenge is an opportunity to forge our own, indomitable version of a meaningful life. So, keep learning, keep reflecting, keep sharing. And remember, the journey doesn't end here. The spirit of stoicism lives on, waiting to be ignited within you. Go forth, light your own inner torch, and become the beacon of your own empowered, resilient life. See you, not just in the next videos, but on the path ahead, fellow Stoics.